We're joined by the newly appointed ISRO chief, Dr. V. Narayanan. Sir, firstly, congratulations. And, you know, how did you feel when you get to know that, you know, you're the newly appointed? No, it was a great feeling, but I know it is a great responsibility given. Uh, that, that was the feeling. And I was confident. And I am confident that with the type of support uh, from my colleagues from ISRO and all the blessing of uh, elders and uh, family members. In fact, my wife is also here. So family members uh, will be in a position to do fantastic job and do the best thing for the country. Uh, yes, best thing for the country. So with uh, Gaganyan and Chandrayaan 4 uh, lined up, how do you look forward to you know lead these missions? <laughs> no, see, we have already put a strong uh, vision and roadmap. And uh, already we have accelerated the work. And uh, uh, with the type of uh, plan what we are having, we are going to execute everything um, simultaneously and complete the missions one by one. And Chandrayaan-4 is yet another important mission. It is not like Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-3 was landing mission. It's a landing and sample return mission. And uh, we are working towards that. Then Gaganyan, it's a very, very prestigious mission. The safety of our own astronaut is, our own citizens are very, very important. Uh, the people who are going to fly, that is very important. First time, a human-centric thing is added with uh, the rockets and uh, the system, and uh, all the developments are going on. Then, of course, the core thing, uh, the serving the society in terms of communication, navigation, um, uh, the earth observation, disaster warning and management area, all those areas also we have to serve the country, and, of course, including the security system of our country, that also we have to do. Thank you so much.